atmospheric. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So there's another piece snapped on top of the tower like a Lego brick. So let's go ahead and go to the highest door that we can possibly go to. As a matter of fact, we could actually go down through the, uh, the first one because we have bombs and now can break apart that wall that we couldn't break apart before that had that crack in it, but I think I'm going to save those little side dealio giblets for like a, a, a later thing, because they're more like side quests than anything. Wow, it's awfully dark in here. I can't see a thing, Link. The place is creepy. Might even have ghosts floating around. Wait, I'm a ghost. You're not scared of me, right? I am. You're terrifying. Don't say that! This is only a temporary thing. I wasn't like this before. Just try your best to keep us out of there, okay, Link? <laughs> so now you'll notice something. Look, look at our map on the top screen. Yeah, we don't have a map. Or do we? Well, you see, the idea of the darkness is, you know, to obscure your location. So, of course, you don't have a map. Because the map would kind of defeat the entire purpose. However, let's say uh, we were to draw our own map. Yep, that is the idea of this place. Now, what I like to do is just kind of push myself up along the edges of walls until I find a spot that doesn't have an edge and then draw a line straight across to it. That is how I doodle my maps. So I'm going to go... Oops, actually, no, 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 I'm going to go... Right here is the corner. And I'll just leave this open to indicate that there is a door here. Just down. <laughs> I guess. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start to boomeranging the... Oh, yeah, there's a wall there. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's the power of darkness. It's the power of the unknown. And now... Behold the... No I was going to say, behold the Noctum, because I've seen it, it floating around over here. Noctums are the little ghosts that are floating around, and they are invulnerable in the dark, but if you get get light shed around them, they're like, Oh no, light! I can't stand the light! And, you know, it's like panic from Yu-Gi-Oh! And then they, they die off, but you can't really, like, trick them to walk into the light. You gotta get... Oh, I was gonna say, you gotta get the light to appear, like, right on top of them for it to actually make them them stunned, but there is going to be another way for us to um, tackle that. Let's just put it that way. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but yes, there is going to be a something. I don't know how far this line goes down over here offhand. I think it's just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So I'll instead use my eraser over here and negative space it up. I like those apples. I think that is... Yeah, it's the end of this little hallway here. Uh, maybe I didn't actually need bombs to do this little side quest thingy here. Because uh, I should be able to run a bomb over to the wall on this floor that actually has an issue with that. Uh, because, you see, there's a, there's a breakable wall next to that signpost. You're not actually supposed to know that until later, but it's one of those things where if you've played the game before, you can just do it ahead of time without following the steps, should you know the steps that are needed to be taken. I mean, I guess I could leave it to show you what that thing reads anyway, because it does have a, a different bit of dialogue. Okay, so this goes, oops, that's a little off angle, so it goes straight down there, and I just erase that, and I keep following over this this edge here is probably the corner right here. I don't know. It's just got my little silhouette going on here. Oh, that's a long wall with nothing. <laughs> okay, so it's like a yeah, all the way there. Goes here, yeah, here. Yeah. Another door going up. And then there's something like this here, I think. I know, it's, I know it's a crude map, but that's all you need is a crude map to get yourself around here. Uh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, we'll be okay. We'll just keep hugging the wall here until we get to the corner. And yeah, there's like a little, little bump there, as I thought. So let's emphasize that bump and call it a floor. So yeah, if you try to read this right now, something's written here, but it's too dark to read it. Alas, alas. Now normally, of course, you're supposed to, you know, keep lighting your way here or something like that, but let's not 
worry about that too much right now. Let's just go on ahead and tackle the other stuff. Oh man, Torch Phantoms. Look, Link, that phantom has a light! So I think you know what will give us light now, because, well, you know, Zelda, she is the master of possession. And I think there's a pit somewhere along this wall. I'm gonna try not to go too quick so I don't run down into it. Uh, I think that's it, because yeah, if you hit, if you hit something, like a pit, Link will stop, but if you keep running, you'll fall. Like, I'm just gonna do it for the fun of it, because I think it, there is a pit here. Yup! <laughs> but that's how you can find your way in the dark, you know, it's like, there's like a pit there or something like that, carefully. Um, uh, yeah, it goes to about here. <clears throat> uh, I should actually do some lights here, just to discourage our ghostly friends. Oh, there we go, I actually managed to stun one. And then you can kill them off like that. But that isn't uh, the, the typical way that you'll be defeating these things. Uh, how how far can I get this boomerang to stretch? Because I know there's a... Uh, oops, released it too early. Because I know there is a torch there. Oh, really? Can I get it between that sign? Can I do the impossible? Maybe. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not between the sign, it actually leads to like a, a corner here. So that means... I'm gonna put a little dot over here to indicate the corner. And I'll just hug this wall. There's a door there, I do believe. Uh, I think there is. Could be wrong about that. Okay, there we go. And they are aggressive towards you when you are in the dark like that, so... Beware of that. And obviously, because of their name being Noctum, yeah. I think this is a another pit. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the actual things you're supposed to do here is use a light to get yourself across here. But you don't have a light right now, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wing it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. Oops, it's wrong. Uh, buttons. I'm gonna leave like this this area open here. Because there's a bunch of unknowns there. <laughs> uh, that's actually too wide of an area. There's a safety corner. Oh, okay, see, see, you, you can, you can draw. Bob Ross always said, all it does is take a little bit of practice. You can do it. He believes in you. He believes in you. Uh, I think that wall goes all the way down. And okay, I think I'm gonna hit a wall. There, yes. I'm gonna put a little liner there. And feel for a corner. Oh, they, oh shoot, the day is coming this way. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> you know, there are phantoms around here. You can't forget that there are indeed phantoms around. <laughs> that, that's what I was trying to, to emphasize here for you. Um, there was a little bump that ended. There we go. So that means it goes down to about there, and I think I'm gonna go duck over to where I know it's safe. <laughs> okay, I forgot the exact layout of this room, but that is cool actually, because it, it leads us to the actual way that you're supposed to beat this dungeon, is to draw your own map. And it is it will be handy to do our map doodles in the future like this, like for potential other pops through here, and well that's it's kind of weird, there's like a light shining under his shadow, as, but that, that should have been all shadow. That's cool though, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go... It's, oh, that's it's a gap, right? Yeah, it's a gap. Okay, so that means this goes off to here and then it zoops around that away somehow, because that's all, that's all um, wall. Tier of Light, one of three. Yeah, they're making it a little bit trickier to get the Tears of Light this time around. Mm, I think this is like a um, N-shaped area, if I recall correctly. So I'm just gonna do the do of indicating that, sorta, kinda. Uh, yeah, that's about right. I think the other side is too thick, though. Uh, there is a little opening over here. That's good to know in case you need to run away. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw that line all the way up there. And I'm gonna also light these, because I believe this is all a street hallway. Yep. Yepers it is. So now 
goes like that. And then this is probably probably a wall all the way down. Because you know there's only so much room you've got on the screen here. <laughs> uh, how's it going guys? How about I light my way through here? That sounds like a good idea. I think so. <laughs> Um, I think I just need to go... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Woo! Tear of Light! Uh... Oh wait, what do I... I don't have anything to light over here. I, I should say chain... Ah, to chain torch. I just want to see what I've... Mm, I can't now, can I? Well, maybe I can if I get myself into the darkness slightly. And then go back into the light before they start attacking us. There we go! <laughs> Ah, I got one here. Interesting, interesting. I think there's actually a treasure chest to be found over here. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a little... Just a little, uh... A looper here. Like I'm at the corner here, and there's another one, so that means it's probably about... Like, this size or so? Something like that. There we go. We are just getting our doodle on today, aren't we? <laughs> So, and we got this little corridor here, which goes down a bit, and then up into something like that. How about those apples? Uh, it was a little bit, a little bit shallow there. So I think it's actually more like, yeah, and wait, actually, yeah, that's better. So I'm going to erase that, erase this. It's, it's nice to draw a, a relatively accurate map for the sake of uh, future passes through here, obviously. Because then you don't have to worry about walking into the unknown of sorts. <laughs> uh, so yeah, obviously. This is, oops, this is all wall. Yeah, I can actually do that. And there's a little alcove over here. And there's a wall that goes down over there. <laughs> oh, Alright, now... I got two tiers of light going on here. But, uh, I'm still missing a third. Where could that third be? Hmm... Hmm... Who knows? Only the game designers know. And people who have played the game before. <laughs> That's a little bit more shallow of an area than I had set up there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna feel my way around here. Uh, I think there's another little passageway through here. Yes, there is. Okie dokie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so I do believe there's a bomb of a wall somewhere around here that we've got to figure out its location of. But where? Where could it be? Here's another opening. <laughs> it's like a... Um, it's like a multiple opening dealio going on over here. Like there's something over here, there's something over here. <laughs> Something like that, and this wall probably goes all the way down like that. I know it's I know it's bad, but I'm I'm just drawing quickly on improvisation. Oh, I didn't I didn't close in these lines up here. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. So we have the power of the brush and the eraser. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty decent for a setup there. I think it's gonna see me if I go unless it turns around this way. I'm not I'm not sure if it will though. Uh, it's gonna go straight. Okay, that will do. This one is not. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go loop around here and see if I can figure out my way around the board here. Well, okay. So it appears as if I was correct about the hallway situation. It's something like that. Uh, okay, so now what do we do about our darkness situation. Well, there is a little hinter over here that I haven't read. Remember that little plaque over there? Alright, listen close. Blow out the lonely torch in the corner on this floor where the phantoms tread. There, you will see a faint light. Alright, so get out something that can make a good blow and I'll show you. Remember that one corner 
that had a torch already lit. Behold! I say behold, look at that, isn't that cool? <laughs> so we know that there's a cracked wall over there now, because light's coming through it, that we can see now. So let's grab this bomb flower and chuck it over there. And open says me. <laughs> Check it out, the last tier of light. <laughs> Woo! We have all of them. Sword is full of energy. Attack those phantoms, hitting them in the back. All right, so with all that doodling, let's go ahead and finally take some offense to these bad boys. Zigzag through here. Come on, this way, this way, this way, to the safe zone where I can more easily hit you in the back. There we go. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Behold, a new place for Zelda to reside. Yay, a torch phantom. So I've got this great sword to light the way. Now there's no need to worry about the dark. Come on, Link, we have to move. So, of course, oops, I was just saying, we are going. <laughs> we are. Hey, 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 don't don't do that. I'm afraid of the dark. Don't tell. <laughs> Big bright light warms my heart. Can't see in this dark and I need glasses. Mm, I think they're all gonna just having to have general Is it break time yet? <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> I was gonna say I de definitely have to get some phantom dialogue going on in here. Just because, you know, phantoms, they have... I mean, they look sinister, they're actually... They're, they're pretty normal guys. <laughs> I just realized this is a little bit too too wide over there. That's okay, I'm probably getting a little bit too anal about the map, so I just need to know the general locations of stuff. Um, then I'll be a-okay. In terms of, you know, just like feeling my way around here, stuff like that. Um... Now, I do believe we should be able to actually see... Oh, you <laughs> spawned into the lights and I got... Really? Interesting. <laughs> now, well, anyway, now that we got a portable flashlight here, we can now go ahead and look-see around here if you'd like to and kill off... Oh, kill off said critter. Zelda, Zelda, please let me through. <laughs> kill off said critters to really clean out this floor. Because I, I think there's actually going to be something that'll appear if I do so. I could be wrong about that though. Not the phantoms though, of course. The phantoms are pretty much invulnerable, so... <laughs> Unless you count being possessed by Zelda to be uh, invulnerable. Alright, closer, closer, there we go. Woo! I could be wrong about that there being something uh, hidden on this particular area, but... Well, well, we'll see. <laughs> There, there, I mean, there could be, there, there might not be, who knows, who knows. I don't remember all that much. <laughs> I don't, well, I guess there isn't. Alright, alright, let's go on ahead. Now, this is the point we want to make Zelda go first. Because she has a light, you don't, unless you try and torch your, you know, your boomerangs the whole way, but that's ah, not really going to work this far away from any sort of fire source. Well, maybe over there, I guess, maybe, if you're, if you're really able to, uh, oops, if you're really able to, say, see where the poop, the floor is at such a quick flash. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to see that way if you don't have a light, so let's just go ahead and, I think this is going to be a dead end. Uh, well, you can't like this for me, though, I suppose. That's, that's lovely of you. <laughs> okay, back on ahead of me now and straight down until you reach a wall preferably uh, okay so this it was something like something like this 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 and over here somewhere around there and there's that yeah something like that I'll just leave the map like that that's it's kind of a tricky thing to draw uh, I guess, uh, let's just try and do the node thing. I stand in one spot and then, yeah, so it's about, yeah, so it's about where I had it. And then we're going to go here to the corner. Yeah, that is about right. Okay. So, oops, no, no, call, call, call. I call your hand. And, 
Zelda, Zelda, please. Am I gonna have to draw you draw a path for you? <laughs> And then it leads over to here, which I do believe is all square until that door, so I'm just gonna do that. Well, it's actually all rectangle until the door. And, oh, maybe not, maybe not. I was wrong, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, let's go all the way to the edge here. Oh, I went too fast. <laughs> I found the edge, though. <laughs> Okay, so it's actually around that away, and then there's a little blockade there. I guess we could say it goes around that that spot there. Uh, yeah. Now that wall isn't that thick. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now this is another reason why we need to have Zelda here too. Like you could maybe do it with your boomerang, but how are you gonna get the fire over here, in this corner? <laughs> Alright, I think that is good enough for a part, because there's more darkness stuff to draw out. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, when we go up the stairs and explore a little bit more of the Tower of Spirits.